Today in this video I am going to share 10 very important tips that you should know before starting a new career in Farming Simulator 23. Farming Simulator 23 is the next title in mobile farming simulator series and boy this game is full of features. The game has so much new stuff and even the economy is very different this time. So after spending more than 100 hours in the early access version of this game, here are some tips from me that will definitely help you. So let's start with number 1 and that is chickens. Chickens are the very first thing that you will notice when you start a new career and they are a great passive source of income. Chickens are extremely easy to feed and manage. These are the only animals that you own by default in Farming Simulator 23. Not only these animals are new in Farming Simulator 23, but you also have some already in your chicken coop. Here is what you need to do. Buy more chickens. When buying new chickens, keep in mind that the cheapest ones are the little chicks that will first grow and then start laying eggs. The expensive ones are fully grown chickens which will start laying eggs immediately. I usually like to buy grown animals but you can take a look at other options as well. Make sure you also purchase some roosters. If you don't buy any roosters, it may affect the productivity of your chickens. There is not a fixed number or rule of how many roosters you should buy but I think 5 roosters will be more than enough. After that, just feed them with wheat, barley or sorghum. They only take a very small amount of grain and soon your chickens will start laying eggs that you can sell for a good price. Number 2 is Sell and Upgrade Gear Right after you start a new career in Farming Simulator 23, I strongly recommend you to sell your default cultivator and seeder and buy the Protinger Direct Seed Seeder. The seeder is so good that it will cultivate, sow and fertilize your field in one go and save your time which you can spend to focus on some other things. This is a very crucial upgrade that, should, that you should definitely do on priority basis. Number 3 is Sell Tools and Vehicles at Shop In Farming Simulator 23, there are two ways to sell your equipments and vehicles. Number 1 is Sell them via Game Menu under Vehicles section. Number 2, which is better than the first option, is to bring the tool or vehicles at the shop on the trigger and sell it. Now you may be wondering, why do all that extra work where I can sell it from the menu with just few clicks well there is a benefit if you present your vehicle or equipment at the shop and sell it from there you get more money than selling it via menu so sometimes the difference is in thousands number four is upgrade header unlike farming simulator 20 the default harvester in farming simulator 23 is extremely good this harvester is so good that even if you attach the biggest header with this harvester, it will work just absolutely fine. I have used this harvester for a very long time. I just paired the class economy of Flex 1080 with it and it was amazing. I was getting the normal 10 km per hour working speed all the time. The harvester is so good that I didn't even thought to upgrade it for quite some time. And eventually when I was at a point where I had 2 plus million in-game currency, I just sold it and purchased the X9-1100. Moral of the story is, you don't technically need to upgrade your harvester, just buy a better header. Number 5 is Use Herbicides Farming Simulator 23 has a new feature, now there will be weeds in the crops. And if you will not kill them, these will affect the yield of your crops. So now in Farming Simulator 23, sprayers will only carry herbicides and you cannot fill liquid fertilizer in them. So fill your sprayers with the herbicides and kill all the weeds from your crops. And by doing that, you will get more yield from your field. Number 6 is use fertilizers. Fertilizing crops in Farming Simulator 23 is different. Now you need to fertilize your crops twice instead of once. If you will not fertilize crops properly, you will definitely lose yield. So 
So make sure you complete two levels of fertilizers and this time you can either use a spreader to spread solid fertilizer on your crop or you can use manure or slurry. Number seven is don't harvest during rain. If you are coming from Farming Simulator 20, this statement sounds very weird to you because we cannot harvest during rain in Farming Simulator 20. Even the helpers stop harvesting when it's rainy. But guess what? You can harvest during rain in Farming Simulator 23. And if you have hired a helper on Harvester, it will keep harvesting during the rain. And if you or helpers keep harvesting during rain, it will reduce your yield up to 50%. So make a wise move and skip some time and wait for the rain or snow to stop. This does not apply on olives, grapes and root crop harvest. Number 8 is plow your fields. So plowing is a new activity which is added in Farming Simulator 23 and now it is sometime mandatory to plow your field otherwise you will lose 20% of your yield. So if a field says plowing required you should definitely plow your field to get that extra yield. So in other words if you want 100% yield bonus from your field you either need to use plow or a subsoiler on your field. So if you want a realistic approach, I would recommend you to use a plow or if you are like me and want to save some time, then subsolar is the best option and it gives you a slightly more working range. At number 9 is sell your crops wisely. As you already know, Farming Simulator 23 is now featuring seasons mode. So this is not a complete seasons mode, I mean it does not limit the time when you can sow or harvest your crops, but guess what? Prices of the crops depends on season so the price of a crop can change according to the season so in a specific season its, its price may go higher and in a specific season or in the next month or two its price can go lower so you really need to see the fluctuations of uh, the price fluctuation of each and every crop and then you can plan on either you want to store that crop or you want to instantly sell that crop so yeah that's another tip from me that you should sell your crops very wisely so take a look at the crop price fluctuations whatever crop you are planting either you are working on soybeans canola or wheat just make sure that you have checked its price fluctuations and then uh, process it accordingly the next one is that do not buy front loaders i can't believe i'm saying this but yeah front loaders are kind of a useless in farming simulator 23 even though uh, they are a brand new thing in Farming Simulator 23. So basically if you buy a pallet handler trailer then that's all you need. You don't really need to have a forklift or a tally handler in Farming Simulator 23. So if you are just starting a new career and you want to handle some pallets and want to move some pallets from point A to point B or even you want to store some pallets in your hayloft then use that pallet handler trailer trailer because that's everything you need if you use that trailer and just one tap and it will pick up all the pallets for you and then at the selling station you just need to park that trailer and it will unload automatically so there is no need to spend your money on the front loaders however if you want a realistic gameplay you should definitely have some front loader either in the form of a forklift or in the form of a tally handler now I have some bonus tips for you. Number one is buy fields carefully. So fields prices are very different in Farming Simulator 23. So basically uh, if a field is close to your farm it will be more expensive and if a field is far from your farm it will be less expensive. So it's not like uh, the price is depends on the area of the field no but it rather depends on how close that field is to your farm. So I will suggest to you that you pick a field that is number one not quite far from your farm so that you don't really waste a lot of time traveling to that field and with your vehicles or equipments and number two that field definitely should have a you know slightly bigger area to work on so that you can grow more crops and work on that large field. So and also at the end of the video I would say that the last tip from me is that don't afraid to skip the time because Farming Simulator 23 have seasons mode so 
it, it's not like farming simulator 20 because uh, I have seen some many people that they pause the time or set the clock to real clock when they are planting something. So crops they take a lot of time to grow so don't just uh, pause your time I mean let the time flow and you will see that it's it's really worth it so don't be afraid of skipping time. If you skip time then you will uh, you know the things progress faster for you so that's what I am saying at the end of this video so guys that was the video about some of the tips that I really uh, like to share with you about farming simulator 23 and I hope that these tips will help you in your in your game uh, when starting an imperial in farming simulator 23 give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video very soon bye bye